Exercise 14, prove that if A and B are positive reals, then 1 plus A over B to the power of N plus 1 plus B over A to the power of N is greater than or equal to 2 to the N plus 1. Again, if we apply AM, GM inequality uh, for the left hand side, that is 1 plus A over B to the power of N plus 1 plus b over a to the power of n is greater than or equal to 2 times square root of their product. Let me multiply directly. 1 times 1. Since the powers are the same, I can write this as 1 plus a over b times b over a is also 1 plus a over b plus b over a to the power of n. And if we consider a over b plus b over a, well, these are reciprocal of each other, and this is greater than or equal to 2 times square root of a over b times b over a again by a m g m inequality. So this is greater than or equal to 2. So that expression 2 times square root of, well, here we have 2, and that is greater than or equal to 2. 2 plus 2 to the power of and that is 4 to the power of n in square root so this is 2 to the power of n plus 1 well, exercise 15 prove that if p and q are positive real then p plus q equals 1 then p plus 1 over p to the power of 2 plus q plus 1 over q squared is greater than or equal to 25 over 2. Well, just like the previous one, if we apply P plus 1 over P, AM, GM inequality. Well, we know that this is greater than or equal to 2. And Q plus 1 over Q, similarly, is greater than or equal to 2. But this will not give us a sharp bound because uh, if you square, square this, uh, that give us something greater than or equal to 4. Okay, let me write like this. So, P plus 1 over P. Well, this is greater than or equal to 4. The other one is also greater than or equal to 4. So, 4 plus 4, 8. Well, and 8 is here. But what we must show is that it is greater than or equal to 25 over 2, that is 12.5. So it's a sharper bound, so we must do something else here. So as we see, it didn't work. Uh, here, if we expand this expression, so we have p squared plus 1 over p squared plus 2 and similarly q squared plus 1 over q squared plus 2. I will deal with these expressions p squared plus q squared and 1 over p squared 1 over q squared. Firstly In one of the previous questions, we shown that this is greater than or equal to P plus perfect squared divided by 2. So it is 1 over 2. Well, this can be shown by Cauchy-Schwarz very easily, which states that for two terms, that is 1 squared plus 1 squared times P squared plus Q squared is greater than or equal to 1p times 1q so p plus q perfect so just take these two to the other side and we get the desired inequality well this is cauchy schwarz inequality well this is not difficult to prove uh, if we expand this expression and we can see that this inequality is true anyway so, okay, 
Ah, plus, plus. Now, next, we'll show that 1 over p squared plus 1 over q squared by AMGM inequality is greater than or equal to 2 times square root of 1 over p squared times 1 over q squared. That is 2 over pq. Well, here uh, again in one of the previous questions we shown that, or we can show again, it's not that difficult. Uh, P plus Q perfect square is greater than or equal to 4 PQ. Well, if you expand this expression, we get P minus Q perfect square. Uh, well, this is the same as P minus Q perfect square greater than or equal to 0 which is true, so this is true. Well, p plus q is given to be 1, so what we get from here is that 1 is greater than or equal to 4pq, and that is pq is less than or equal to 1 over 4. 1 over 4, let me write like this. Now, so here we get, since it is reciprocal 2 over pq, so that will be greater than or equal to 2 times 4, that is 8. So what I have now, p squared plus q squared is greater than or equal to 1 over 2. 1 over p squared plus 1 over q squared uh, together greater than or equal to 8. And we have 2 plus 2, that is 4. And total they add up to 25 over 2. Oh, here let me write. 25 over 2 is desired. Exercise 16, prove that if x plus y plus z equals 1, then 8 times 1 over 2 minus xy minus yz minus zx times 1 over x plus y squared plus 1 over y plus z squared plus 1 over z plus x squared is greater than or equal to 9. Well, in the question, it isn't, it's not mentioned, but uh, we must have all the terms. Uh, no, the, the denominators mustn't be 0 for the expression to be defined, so x plus y mustn't be 0, otherwise it's not meaningful. So we assume this, but positivity isn't given in the question. Uh, so first of all, this first expression, 1 over 2 minus xy minus yz minus zx. Let's simplify this expression. We are given that x plus y plus z is equal to 1. If we square both sides here, we get x squared plus y squared plus z squared plus twice xy plus yz plus zx is equal to 1. So if you get 2xyz to the other side, we get 1 minus 2 times x plus xy, yz, zx. So, well, what we have here is just the half of this expression. So, that is actually, so 1 over 2, 1 over 2 minus xy, sorry, minus yz minus zx is x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by 2. So I will replace this by x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by 2. So let me have some space here. So I will just so the original inequality is equal to 4 times 
x squared plus y squared plus z squared times 1 over x plus y squared plus 1 over y plus z squared plus 1 over z plus x squared is greater than or equal to 9. Well, for this expression, if we apply AMHM inequality, we can do this because even if x, y are not given to be positive, but x plus y perfect square is positive, y plus z perfect square is positive, similarly z plus x perfect square is positive, so we can apply AMHM inequality, that is, uh, let me do for just for this so four times x squared plus y squared plus z squared times this expression let me call this as a times a is greater than or equal to four x squared y squared plus z squared since we have in a three terms one two three so we have remember nine divided by the sum of the denominators, remember the previous uh, techniques, so we get, if we expand each of these expressions, x plus y squared, y plus z squared, z plus x squared, so we get 2 times x squared, y squared, z squared, and from the middle terms, plus twice x, y, y, z, and z, x, we have this one. And we know that, again, from the previous exercises, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is greater than or equal to x, y, y, z plus z, x. So, I will change this expression since it is in the denominator. Uh, so, if I change this by something bigger, which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared, I will get a smaller fraction. So this is, let me erase this again. So, oh, that is also 36 x squared plus y squared plus z squared divided by, I will change this by x squared plus y squared plus z squared, so I will have 4 x squared plus y squared plus z squared, which is equal to 9.